Hi, my name's Heather, and I'm here to show you how to create this graphic glitter look for Christmas. So first I'm going in with the MUA Tropical Oceana palette, and I'm going to take this shimmering purple shade and I'm gonna apply that to my lids. Now I'm going back into the same palette and taking a darker matte purple shade and I'm applying that on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna use the same brush as before. And now I'm just going to use a fluffy fan brush to gently sweep away any shadow that's fallen down onto my cheeks. And now I'm going to go in and create a big star over my left eye. Next I'm going to fill in the star with the same eyeshadows as before so I have a nice evenly coloured base that I can apply my glitter on top of later. Back in with this dark purple using this stiff pointed brush and then I'm going to fade it into this bright pink as it gets closer to the eye. And I'm going to go into this pink to fade them into each other. Going with the glitter, I'm going to line my eyes and first I'm going to go into the waterline using the Gosh Giant Pro Double Liner using the Cole Kajal side to line the upper and lower waterlines and then I'll blend that out. Now I'm just going to go into the other side of that eyeliner using the ink liner to create a nice cat eye winged liner. Next I'm going to pop on some mascara, this is the MUA Amplify Statement Lash and I'm going to put that on the top and lower lashes. And now for lashes. There we go. So now we're going to go in for the glitter, but first I need to apply a base, so I'm going to use the Collection Glam Crystals Glitter Glue. I'm going to pat that all over where the purple is and then I'll go in with the glitter on top of that. And while the base is still tacky, I'm going to go in with this pink glitter from Collection and apply that on the central parts of the star. And then I'm going to go into a darker purple and fade it into the points of the star. And now I'm just going to add some chunky glitter from Barry M, just a roundabout on the star to give it a little bit more texture and interest. And I'm applying the chunky glitter with my finger like this, so that it doesn't remove the glitter underneath, and I can really select where I'm placing it. So this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm loving it. Uh, don't forget to check out our other Christmas content, and I'll see you later. Bye!